everybody at Sports Time member Connor Lightborn. Let's get to it right away. The Grand Mama Basketball Association Championship on court last night. So let's take a hop quickly to the St. George's Gym. The Go Color Reach Out Saints in Old Bahama Bay on court in Game 5 of the Division 2 Series. Old Bahama Bay with the range early and that's from the Bayshore Road. The Saints, Howard Hinsey had a great one going, folks. 17 points in the game. Old Bahama Bay was not about to roll over and play dead. It's called 101 Hoops. The Saints ball watched a good passing and deduced to seal the play. Coca-Cola showing good basketball skill and playing Dudley Sade basketball. Here comes Obama Bay taking the Saints to task and at the break, 20-14 to Coca-Cola. In the third period, Obama Bay opened a hot from the arc, but Coca-Cola was on that game and some nifty passing and seen the benefits. Obama Bay, Dante Smith had a 16 point in this one, but Coca-Cola would not be denied, 51-46 a final. Coca-Cola reach out, Saints hold a 3-2 lead in the series, and it's do or die for Obama Bay. Fast track, Jim Rats and BDC Ringers on court in Game 5 of their Division 1 series, all nodded at 2. The Jim Rats staying in the game, and their plan is to really block out a rebound in the paint. Jabal Lightborn following the script. BDC trying to find some sense of rhythm, but that's off. The Ringers' defense was up to with the turnover here. Marco to Jay for two of his 16 points. Jay Philippe playing the point. Leon Cooper Jr. for two of his 28. But the Gym Rats had other plans. Shooting from the tray, make that count. Frank Mepidion with 23 points. The ring is Marco Cooper showing that he can still play this game with touch. The big guy can shoot the rock. Watch the inbound play here by BTC. It's called heads up ball. But the Gym Rats simply held firm and won game 5, 90 87. With Trevor Bay netting 22 points. And he did it the hard way. And also the Marion Donnie knows the high school soccer jamboree scores for you. Bishop Michael Allen boys over LIS 2-1. Jack Hayman of Egg Morrock 2-1 as well. Nico Grant needed Dorkity Primary School softball play. Freeport Gospel over Sunland 15-1. Lewis Yard put away Tabby 18-4. Maurice Moore with 11-2 win over BMES. Well, the YMCA has a secret, folks. And guess what? It's about to take place and it's called the Wall of Fame. The Young Men Christian Association YMCA have a new look and an eye-catching room with a number of current sports stars on it. Donald Thomas is on the wall, Demetrius Pinder, Michael Matthew, John Quill Jones, Floyd Pretty Boy Seymour, yes, and even Magnum Roll and others. Executive Director of the YMCA, Karen Pinder Johnson, gave a sneak peek and a reason for it. This multi-purpose room that you're in today um, came about as a result of some support from Save the Bays, Joseph Davil and his team. And we sat and we thought about, you know, what can make this room a little more magnificent, a little more meaningful. Mm -hmm. And as the true YMCA of the Bahamas, as a YMCA that caters to the entire need of the community, and as, as we continue in our fight to come back the social ills of this community, this wall here, this is the Grand Bahama Wall of Fame. Now there is intentionally an open space between the posters, Ole Miss, the women's new basketball coach, Alette McPhee McEwen, and a spot might just be there for the next sports star. But there's one blank spot there that most kids, when they come up, they say, you know what? That's going to be my spot. And I think that's an encouragement. And that's what we look for. We look to inspire our youths. And by seeing the wall and seeing individuals that they can relate to, like a Joanna. Mm -hmm. Joanna just finished school, what, three years ago? Mm -hmm. So she's very relatable. You have Yolette. So these are individuals that are not strangers, are not um, old time. These are current professionals from Grand Bahama that came through the YMCA that we have posted on our walls. Now here's the deal. If I can fit my 1976 Carifta track and field uniform, I will have a spot on the Sports Wall of Fame. She didn't say where. I got a feeling it's going to be close to the back door. Yep, I played Little League Baseball at the Y, so I earned that spot and I can put my picture on that before I do anything else this year. That's sports tonight.